and the Burning Channel is back. And today we are talking about the Colorado River as it's been a while since I did an update. And I figure today is the day that we're going to do that. With that being said, let's go ahead and roll right out to the Colorado River. And we are starting right off at the Flaming Gorge like we always do. 2021 is the white, 2022 is the blue. And here we are. The level is currently 6,014.05 feet. And the level is 25.95 feet below full pool of 6,000. 1040. Your storage acre feet is currently 2,713. Now you're looking at the Flaming Gorge and we're going to start off at the full pool level of 6,040. In 2020, the level was 6,026.65. Last year was 6,020.89. Today's level is 6,014.05. Inactive pool is 5,871 and your dead pool is 5,740. Flaming Gorge is down 6.84 feet from one year ago. Flaming Gorge is down 12.60 feet from two years ago. Flaming Gorge is currently 143.05 feet from inactive pool. And we roll out to your inflows versus your outflows and your current inflows negative 269 and your outflows are currently 1947 so the lake will be dropping dramatically and quickly with that being said now we'll go see what has happened in the last 14 days the last 14 days flaming gorge is down 0 0.86 feet and in the last 24 hours flaming gorge is down 0 0.14 feet and percentage of capacity is currently 71.61 percent of capacity and then we go check and see how much water they have released so far they've released 109 percent according to last year and total releases so far have been 891,534 and your total release last year was 817,934 so they are way above what they released last year at this time now we go down to Lake Navajo next as we roll down to Lake Navajo you can see that the current water level 6 6,022.22 feet. The level is 62.78 feet below full pool of 6,085. And your storage acre feet is currently 886,243. As we roll out to Lake Navajo, full pool level 6,085. On this date in 2020, the level was 6,045.96. Last year, the level was 6,028.47. Today's level is 6,022.22 at 2.22 p.m. Central Time here. And twos are wild. So 5,775 is the dead pool. And then we go check. Two years ago, the level was 23.74 higher two years ago the level was 6.25 feet from last year deadpool's 247.22 feet the twos are wild today so if you're a betting man go bet on twos now we go to lake navajo's inflows and outflows your inflows are currently 482 and your outflows are currently 14.70 total releases so far are 298,297 release last year were 434,000 105 and the percentage between last year and this year is only 68.72 so they haven't released as much there so that's good news and then we go to lake navajo is down 1.93 feet in the last 14 days lake navajo is down a 0.25 feet in the last 24 hours and percentage of capacity is 54.21% of capacity. On this date in 2020, the level was 7,475.71. Last year was 7,446.27. And this year, 7,452.93. And Deadpool level is 7,358. One year ago, the level was 6.66 feet above where it is today. Deadpool is 94.93 feet. Your inflows are 977. Your outflows are 1,788. And then we go check out the percentage. 75.05 and total releases so far have been 
548,598 and compared to last year they released a heck of a lot more 730,936 they're not releasing near as much this year as they did last year so keep that in mind blue mesa is down 3.20 feet in the last 14 days blue mesa is down 0.35 in the last 24 hours and percentage of capacity is currently 39.26 percent of capacity as we roll out to lake powell the blue is 2022 the white is 2021 and today's level is 3530.25 feet the level is 169.75 feet below full pool of 3700 and then we go to lake powell in 2020 the level was 3598.35 2021 the level was 3548.50 today Today's level is 3,530.25 feet, and we go to your power loss. An inactive pool is 3,490, and your dead pool level is 3,370. And don't forget that I will be at Lake Powell October 17th. For those of you who may want to come out there and say hello and maybe go on the tour with me, I plan on being there early, probably 9-ish, 10, somewhere in there, I'm thinking, I'm hoping, if everything goes correct and then the level is down from one year ago 18.25 feet the level is down 68.10 feet from two years ago the level is 40.25 feet from power loss and inactive pool and the level is 160.25 feet from dead pool and then we go to your inflows are 2579 your outflows are 9297 Changes since yesterday, 0.22 feet. Changes in the last 14 days, 2.04 feet. Your storage acre feet is 5,851,945. And your percentage of capacity is 24.06. And there are currently 1,906,864,700,000 1,864,640,679 gallons of water in Lake Powell. And water releases so far have been 88.36% from the required minimum. And total releases so far have been 6,626,941. Total required 7.5 million acre feet. And that is what's going on there at Lake Powell. And we go to Lake Mead next. And don't forget that I will be at Lake mead october 19th so if you guys are wanting to go on the tour with me i will be there probably early in the morning and i'm planning on doing a tour i might go to mojave on thursday the 20th that is to be determined and also on a side note if you're into getting a good night's rest and you need some music or some background noise please check my new youtube channel and i leave it linked below you can check that out and maybe feel free to go over there and see what that is all about that's it's called the sleep aid channel and now we are going over to lake mead and here is your current graph and the white is 2021 the blue is 2022 and your storage acre feet is currently 7,241,000 and the level today is 143.88 feet 185.12 feet below full pool of 1,229 and now we go check how much water they have released so far they have released 95.50% of the minimum required they only have till october 1st we will see what happens see if that number goes over the 100 percent it's going to be pretty close to that i don't think lake powell is going to get there this year so your total releases so far have been 8,594,934 and your total required release is 9 million acre feet so that is what's going on there and then we go to lake mead as we check your full pool is 1229 like all in 2020 the level was 1083.91 2021 the level was 1067.69 today's level is 1043.88 i just said that and your inactive pool and power loss is 950 and your dead pool as of right now 895 one year ago the level was 23.81 two years ago the level was 40.3 inactive pools 93.88 dead pools 148 Point eight eight feet away so we continue to roll on here lake meads inflows and outflows your current inflows are 11,644 and your outflows are 9,560 and now we roll lake mead is down 
five feet in the last 14 days. Lake Mead is up 0.04 in the last 24 hours. It's finally starting to rise just a bit. Percentage of capacity is 27.88% of capacity. And now we, your blue is 2022, the white is 2021. And today's level is 643.89 feet. The level is 3.11 feet below full pool of 647. And now we go check Lake Mojave. And 2020, the level was 640.61. 2022, the level was 642.61. And today's level is 643.89. Deadpool's 533. Lake Mojave is up 1.2 from one year ago. Lake Mojave is up 3.28 feet from two years ago. Lake Mojave is 110.89 feet from Deadpool. And now we go check your inflows and your outflows. And your current inflows are 1,400. And your current outflows are 8,520. And now we go check your percentage. This is percentage of requirement 89.33%. And Total releases have been 8,067,176 acre feet, and total releases last year were 9,030,977 acre feet. Lake Mojave is up 1.03 feet in the last 14 readings. Lake Mojave is down 0.17 inches in the last 24 hours. Lake Mojave is currently 95.33% of capacity and storage acre feet is 1,725,200. And don't forget, I will be at Lake Havasu October 21st. It'll be the last day I'll be there. The level is currently 449.54. So leave an email below. The level is is currently 4.54 feet below full pool of 445. Now we go down to Lake Havasu, and like always, your full pool level is 445, and that's the full pool level. And then we go to on this date. On this date in 2020, the level was 447.93. On this date last year, the level was 449 feet. Today's level is 449.54 feet, and your Power loss is 440, and your Deadpool is 400 feet, so you have quite a long ways to go before that happens. One year ago, the level was 0.54 feet below of what it is today. Two years ago, the level was 1.61 feet below where it is today. Power loss is 9.54 feet away. Deadpool's 49.54 feet away. And then we go check your percentages, 92.46. And then we go check total releases. Total releases is 5,900,000. 13,327 total released last year was 6,395,841 so California is getting 6,395,841 last year this year it doesn't look like they're going to get as much because we're almost to the end and I just don't see that if this will get there between now today's the 11th we got a long way to go so we'll see what ultimately happens now let's go check your inflows and your outflows and your inflows are current 14,000. Your outflows are currently 8,520. Here's the last thing I have for tonight. We're going to start back at the Flaming Gorge at 71.06%. Blue Mesa's 39.26%. Navajo's 52.25%. Strawberry Reservoir's 72.70%. McPhee is 50.46%. Lake Powell is 24.06%. Lake Mead's 27.98%, Mojave is 95.33%, 95.62%, and my total's 33.96%, and that is all I have for tonight. Thank you guys for stopping by. We will see you on the next one. God bless.